Hi guys, I'm Sonika and in today's video I'm going to share with you guys 10 tips to make the most out of street photography. So let's get started. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I am on YouTube. Thank you. The essence of street photography is documenting everyday life and society on the streets. According to me, it is the simplest genre of photography because we don't necessarily require expensive gear or need to travel to posh locations, but it requires a lot of courage. thick skin and lots 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 of patience so let's dive into our 10 tips don't keep searching for the perfect place for street photography start with the street closest to your home it can also give you an advantage as you are familiar with the place so you can plan your shots in advance Any kind of gear is fine for street photography. DSLR, point and shoot, mobile phone, whatever you have. In fact, some photographers prefer taking their compact camera over their large DSLR because it's smaller, lightweight and discreet. For my DSLR, I usually take my 18-55 mm kit lens because it allows me to take both wide angle and close up shots. I use the aperture priority mode and check my aperture to f 5.6 or f 6.3. I keep my ISO such that my shutter speed is always above 1 by 200 seconds. If my shutter speed falls, I raise my ISO accordingly. I use auto white balance, matrix or centered metering, auto focus single with a single focus point. and i shoot in raw plus jpeg once you're out there on the streets things can get a little uncomfortable a few people may stare at you as though they've never seen a photographer in their whole life <laughs> india is a free country you can do whatever you want to so people may stare at you for a minute or two and then forget about you and jpeg so don't think about such people just do it the main focus should be to tell a dramatic story through your images don't be much concerned about the image quality or on buying more expensive gear focus more on your composition the lighting of the place the story your images convey etc i personally think the story is much more important than the image quality While clicking portraits, the main thought that occurs to me is that will that person give me permission for clicking his picture or not? And while taking a candid shot without the person's permission, what if the person catches me clicking his picture and then objects to it? What I have observed is 90% of the time people are kind and they don't mind being clicked. If you ask for permission, they mostly tend to say yes. But if someone says no, Thank them anyway, and find a new subject. And if you take a candid shot and someone objects to it, delete the photograph in front of the person and move on. Don't just hold your camera horizontally. Also, take some vertical and diagonal shots so that you can capture more information in your images. Frame your shots ahead of time and wait for the right moment. Previously, I used to just take snapshots of everything happening around me without any thought into my composition. I still do that sometimes. Anyway, you need to make sure that your images somehow stand different from everybody else's street photos. What is that one element in your composition that sets your image apart? Sometimes the best thing that you can do is get close to the subject 
I know this can be a little confronting but with a little thick skin you can get some amazing shots. It's great if you can blend in with the crowd as a part of the environment rather than just standing out across the street with a long lens. Only practice can make you perfect. The more you take your camera out on the field, the better you will become. I know it can be difficult to take your heavy DSLR everywhere with you, but you have your mobile phone, right? So practice with that. It will improve your confidence and vision. The goal of street photography is to capture scenes that depict a natural story or subject. And I hope these 10 tips help you in fulfilling that goal. If they did, give me a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below about how you engage in street photography or if you have any questions about street photography, please leave them down below guys. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I am on YouTube. Here is my previous video. Please go check it out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more such photography related videos on my channel every Wednesday. Bye!